Calamity County, home of Oregon Sunshine City, Crater Lake, and the absolute best of talk radio, interviews, music, and comedy in the world. WFTP proudly presents the queen of talk radio, princess of the silver screen, master of the culinary arts, award-winning author and filmmaker, it's the Jennifer Dawn Show. Steve Hernandez in the house. Oh yeah, live and direct. Yes, WFTP Radio, the Falcon. You are a very interesting guy and I could not wait to get you on the air. You know, tell people why you're interesting. Why do I why do I love you so much? Um <laughs> that's a good question, I guess. I mean, basically what we do here at 541 Custom CNC is uh just make uh, artwork and uh basically what our mission statement is is to uh instead of uh wasting trees, we like to uh make some artwork that you could put up there and uh could hopefully last a long time, you know. Um yeah, so you've seen some of my work. What do you think? I love your work. I mean, all right, everybody out there in Radio Land listening, Steve Hernandez, uh, 541 Custom CNC, makes logos and signs, not just artwork, but it is art. It's very beautiful, creative artwork. And he's made several for uh, WFTP, The Falcon with Mario Prado and um, the feature film on the franchise and we've got some exciting things coming out for those and we'll you know I've posted your work but you guys got to see this work so um, when I post his show I'm gonna post sh photos yeah it's really something you'd really have to see for yourself and uh, pictures actually do it no justice I think not to I mean I'm trying to be as humble as I can but at the same time you know it's just something that you really have to see in person. And you know what? You, you don't really need to be humble about it because your work is amazing and it must take a lot of detailing. How much time does it take you to do a sign? Oh, man. To be honest with you, it takes hours because, first of all, I have to make the design for the logo and uh, implement it into to, to, to the computer to tell the machine what to do. And then the machine does the work. You know, it's all automated. Uh, it's a CNC machine. Um, a short uh, summary of it, it's just a machine that <clears throat> uses a computer to cut carvings or oh, to, cut, wow. to cut out, uh, you know, to cut out certain um, certain items that you may need, uh, certain tools. You can make mallets, you can make oh, pretty much wow. anything. So we, we use the CNC, though, to drive this business just specifically for wall art and for signs. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, so that takes uh, sometimes a few hours, sometimes maybe an hour. It just depends on how complex the design is. Right. Um, and then from there after that, I do the uh, prep work. So basically all the sanding, sometimes with, uh, you know, all the fine details, all the little nooks and crannies you got to yeah. get into there. Um, so sometimes it could take also hours. Um, wow. And then there's the finishing, which is the painting, you know, um, and then... Uh, Putting the LED lights and the wiring, the soldering, and all that fun stuff. And then adding, yeah, the remote and, mm -hmm. you know, all of this stuff. You, you attach all of that. Um, what made you get into this? I mean, when did you start this? Yeah, so uh, I've been working uh, millwork my whole life. A lot of woodworking. And uh, basically in factories, stuff like that. And uh, I had a good job here in town at Columbia Forest Products. And then... COVID hit, you know, 2020, and uh, there's a lot of layoffs, and that's when I realized, once I lost my job, and uh, I realized, you know, I can't always rely on someone else to to, uh, to basically make, make me income, so I wanted to uh, start a business, something I've always been into, you know, I went to school for business, you know, uh, Fresno State University, wow. and um, so I finally wanted to just get my hands on and just start something and just run with it and go and take the chance and take a risk. Because no risk, no reward, right? Right. Um, so, yeah. So, we bought the CNC machine for four grand. I drove up practically to Washington. Uh, it was up north, Oregon, way up north uh, on the border of Washington, Oregon. I forget the town name. But, yeah, I took the chance, you know, drove up there, grabbed the machine, came back, you know. And um, I've already had the idea of making signs with the LED. 
So that was uh, something that I wanted to to stand out with the LED. It stands out a little bit more. That seems very popular with people too, because mm -hmm. the LED lights up the whole center and mm -hmm. lights up the design. Yeah, exactly. And everybody loves that, don't they? I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, they do. It seems to be a big call for that. Yeah, yeah, just something that helps to stand out a little more. Now, how many uh, businesses have you done science science for in Klamath Falls? Oh man, we've done a sign for Basin Tires, um, Sunbear Energy, uh, Cosmocause, um, quite a few uh, stoned vet. Uh, I, I want to say like uh, I could count it on my two hands. Yeah, but, <laughs> but now WFTP. There we go. And Mario Prado out of Los Angeles for the Falcon Feature franchise. Yes, sir. You know, and we're featuring those on the website, which is. Uh, StephenGilbertMorris.com, Falcon Freedom Franchise feature right. film, and we're going to have your photo in there and a bio, and then people will be able to purchase them made exactly like what you've done for the Falcon, and everybody's got to see this, and they will in your slideshow on YouTube. Everybody I always upload to YouTube as well. Um, now, were you born in Klamath Falls? No. I was actually born in Central California, so Fresno, California. Um, I was there. Uh, I, we moved up here recently in the past seven years, so we've been here for seven years about. Wow. And we just never looked back. You know, we love Oregon. We've always loved nature. And uh, it feels like paradise here. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Really, yeah, it's beautiful. So. And now you and your wife are doing this business together. Um, and she's a photographer. And you have, you have also worked with doing videos things like that as well a little bit mm -hmm. um how is it working together it's a match made in heaven <laughs> <laughs> it works you know it's always good when you can uh combine two minds and uh it just makes the business a little bit easier and smoother that's so cool she does all the social media stuff and i just do all the hands-on you know and then she does the photography and, the photography, and right, um, the promotion and the, everything like that. So yeah, without her, you know, it's, it takes two in this business for sure. And you don't mind if I, when I do the YouTube, I put the slideshow up of your work and picture of you up there. Not at all. All right. Um, so what would you like to say to people in Klamath? Do you have any any messages? Because when you were saying that you just never know till you try, well, you don't. If you don't try. You're never going to be any better off than where you were. Yeah, that's very true. And it is hard to just jump into something like this because of, uh, you know, for me, I have three little ones too. And uh, it's just extra motivation personally, but not a lot of people are fit for this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, starting a business and just running with it and just going with it and just never giving up. You know. And it's, it's got to be stressful because starting a business, especially right out of COVID, I mean, mm -hmm. it's hard to get that. <clears throat> That Attraction. clientele built up and to not know when your next income is coming in, right? Oh, exactly. Exactly. But for me, um, I think the highest reward is my time and my freedom and my ability to spend it, spend it with my kids and to take them anywhere I want. Um, that, to me, is all worth it. That's amazing. You know, because I was working 10-hour shifts, 12-hour shifts. I mean, you name it, every shift. A graveyard shift, swing shift, a morning shift, you name it. Wow. And so every time I think, oh, man, this is getting hard, I always think back to those moments and just think, like, I thank God that at least I have the time and the freedom to spend with my family. So what advice would you give if somebody wanted to come to you and they'd never, you know, done anything like this, but they wanted to start something for themselves so they can have that kind of freedom, too? Would you, what advice would you give them for starting out? Um, I'd, see, I'd say be realistic with your goals. And also be real, realistic with your situation because not everybody is financially stable enough to run with something like this or to start a business and go with it. Um, it it's hard, you know, but I'd say just, it, you know, just be, yeah, just be realistic about everything, about your goals. What do you want to do? What are you trying to accomplish with the business? Are you passionate about it? Because if you don't love what you're doing, it's not going to go nowhere. You have to love what you're doing always. So, wow. yeah, that's my advice. Well, I want to thank you very much, Stephen, not just for your work, you. but for this interview and for the chance of letting me be a part of your creative world and get to know you like we have. I mean, you're really amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Have a good one.
you too. Thank you, everybody. WFTP Radio, The Falcon. We're out of here till the next time. Never give up.